Hi guys, in this video we will discuss the list generator in Cinema 4D in detail. You can see here in this scene I have created one spline and a text spline. The spline I have created using this spline pen tool. Now to apply a lead generator to this spline I need to add lead object. For that I will go to this extrude tool press and hold the left mouse button and I will choose this lathe tool. Now you can see the lathe object is created over here. Now to apply lathe generator to this spline I need to drag this spline to this lathe object. You can see now this pillar like structure is created over here. Now let me switch to this four viewport. Now you can see here front viewport I can move the spline points. Now suppose I select this spline and if I move it, you can see I can change the shape of this 3D shape that is created by using this lath generator. I can move it, I can use its bezier handles to change its shape like this. So this way I can create number of 3D objects using this lathe generator. You can create wine glass, bottles, cans and so on. Now if I go to this lathe object in this object manager you can see number of options are there in this object manager. If I now zoom in over here and if I reduce this angle you can see now it is now cut like this because we have reduced the angle. Now again if I make it 360 and if I increase the subdivisions you can see object can be made more smooth and if I reduce the subdivisions object will be more hard like this. Now if I change this value in the movement spinner you can see I can change the shape like this you can see over here the movement of this shape and if I make it zero again and if I reduce the scaling you can see The shape can be modified by using this scaling parameter also, like this. Now, to discuss the options in this caps area and both bevels area, let us switch to this text spline. I will select this text spline. Now, I will use one more lathe object. I'll drag this text spline to this new lathe object and now I will go to this lathe object and I will choose this object button and I will reduce its angle like this. You need to have very less value in the angle spinner for this text spline so that lathe effect can be applied properly. I will reduce angle further. Now as this spline has cap surfaces we can discuss this caps area and both bevels area. I have chosen this caps button. Now I can clear this start cap checkbox. You can see here this cap is removed. Similarly I can clear this end cap checkbox to remove the back cap of this text spline. Now if I retain these checkboxes and if I change the values in this both bevels area you can see bevel effect is applied to this text spline. You can change this bevel parameters. You can increase the segments. Like this you can add the bevel effect to this lathe object created. 
so this way you can create complex shapes using the splines and the lead generator so that's all in this video thanks for watching